There's a chance I, he goes one and doesn't move. I hate, honestly, thing. I hate him. I, I can't stand him. I just think he's cocky. I just think he's, he's just horrible. We are going to be ranking Liverpool's most hated rival players. Yes, I mean, just looking at the list entirely from the Premier League era because we really struggle to do beyond that. Uh, you can send alternative names in using the comments section underneath and you can help us where we're going to be ranking them. We've got five places up, up for grabs. And much like we did on the previous show with Liverpool cult heroes, only one of these players can be the ultimate most hated Rival player, right? Steve, Hi. Chris, Navos, you've got the board. We do. Um, consideration points here, memorable moments, chants or songs, universally hated or specifically Liverpool, and is the feeling mutual? So, Navos, you asked me the question via text earlier what did the universally hated thing mean? And just to clarify on that, it's uh, is it a player that just uh, the whole of football hates? Like Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, for as an example, I know there's a lot that like him, but you take my point. Or is it a Liverpool thing? You know, a player that we have a deep root of hatred for, no one else really has that antipathy towards. That I'm going to go on my factor. own and consistent with would I, how much would I like to punch him in the face. Okay, well we're going to start. First player is Sergio Ramos. I would like to punch him. He's got to be up there. Put, well, let's put it. Let's do the same as we did last week. Put him at one and see who can knock him off. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's up. The, I mean, just, just for just for the jujitsu Mo Salah move, put him in the in the conversation straight away. Yeah, he's universally hated because he went from Real Madrid to PSG, mm -hmm. so everyone else hates him. Yeah, in that regard, the Mo Salah incident's the big one. Referees hate him. He's, he's a he's, he's, he's a cock as well, <laughs> just a big fat cock of a man. Um, <laughs> he's played for Real Madrid and Paris Saint Germain, and that in general makes me dislike people more. Yeah, yeah. What were the other categories? Especially playing for Paris Saint-Germain. Well, there's no, there's no chance or song about him. Um, play against and him he is, bad, and if we're saying universally hated, there is, there is a specific Liverpool hatred there, Navos, because, as Steve mentioned, the, the Real Madrid. Yeah. The Real Madrid Champions League final, 17-18, and the, and the fouls injury to Mo Salah. So I think he will be high up most people's list. I don't, I don't personally think it's... A universal thing, though. Okay. Like I don't know what you think. He's well. I think he's well respected, isn't he? That's the thing. I think. I think he's for, won too for, much for people to like. For us, not respected. Obviously, with the Salah thing, I think that's what really pushed yeah. us over the edge. And I think people do think he's he's an idiot because on the pitch <laughs> he is. But I think people outside of Liverpool have got a respect for him. I quite. I, I had think... that. I had that before that final. I because he used to always get sent off, and he was gnarly, and he was like. The dark arts and the shit arts. He was a and football then, manager, staple for can play centre half and right back, young Pacey. Could, right, could do yeah. with him now. What could do with him now? A young Sergio Ramos. Sergio Ramos. But then yeah. flip side is you know he Jiu Jitsu star flips Mo Salah uh, and breaks his arm. Okay, yeah, cool. Well, let's keep him high for now. I think that makes that makes perfect sense, right? We're gonna go back to the early days of the Premier League with um, Eric Cantona. Oh yeah, yeah. He, 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 he at Universal definitely. Everyone hates Eric Cantona. Everyone hates yeah. Eric Cantona. He goes above Sergio Ramos for me. But has he got the moments? Is he, he's just a prick. Has he got the moments that well, Ramos had against us? This is this because is an important cup question. final goal hurt. Yeah. Like, but that wasn't like that wasn't him being a villain. That was just him being boss of footy Coming back and then being better. Mate, I remember like the the fiddle this with that his first game back from his ban was us. Yeah. And he scores a pen. That was what those dodges. Yeah, and he, yeah. he definitely did that on the sly. He did have a real fair. And then that time when he moved the game. Is that Cantona though, or is that the game? And then he scored and swung around the post. Yeah, I hate it. But, ta but taking out our best, like our best player at the time, and then but sending him off in a way that he did. He also kicked someone in the stands. <laughs> but that was Palace, wasn't it? No, and I was. That's when going back to the universe. I think. Well, listen. I think that's the point on the Cantona stuff. Is I'm. I think he's high, but I don't think... I think he was, I don't think he did he was boss. Yeah, I don't think he did anything to us worse than what Sergio Ramos... I mean, he did, did score, he did, he did score a cup final goal against us. Mm -hmm. I just think, though, injuring the... As I say, injuring the okay, best player. I, I can go with it. Yeah. Okay. I, he's I, high and I... You know what? I've yeah. got a story yeah. on this one. I, I was um, in year four, and I was one of the only people left in the class who couldn't swim in swimming class. And my that teacher, doesn't surprise me. Yeah, no. I'm not athletically gifted. My teacher taught me kick the water hard like you're kicking out of Cantona, and then I started to swim. 
well done. So maybe that's what, maybe that's. So what, you've yeah. got a deeper feeling towards kick, it. kick the water like you like you hate Eric Cantona. Speci- this is a spe- specifically Steve yeah. hatred. I can imagine you karate kicking from the side <laughs> and just jumping into the pool like Cantona did into the stands. No, that's not it. That's Putting just diving into the pool doing a karate kick. Is this why your ankles are so bad? Putting an imaginary collar up as I did it. I don't think I did it. I must admit, I. I I, like, I quite like did. the color, the color up. And the, he had the advert, didn't he? The of what? I, what I didn't, I, I, well, I suppose actually because of the, the anti-English sort of sentiment of it, that whole 1966 was a great year for English football. Eric was born. Advert was pretty funny at the time, like. But yeah, no, I, I, I there's, there's Man United players I think who were higher up on that list. I hate Cantor more than Ramos, but with the categories you've given us, I think Ramos fits the bill more. Mm. Okay, okay, let's go for another Manchester United player and see how he fares. Bruno oh, Fernandes. Okay, mate, honestly, I think he goes above Sergio. Go on, now, I'll, you, you I'll literally said, I said, to, I said to him before, I said, I said, honestly, his name gets mentioned and he's going to, is there any higher than one? <laughs> there's, a chan- opinion, there's a chance, there's a chance, honestly, there's a chance mate, he I, goes one and doesn't move. I hate, the honestly, thing. I hate him. I, Why? I can't stand him. I just think he's cocky. I just think he's, he's just horrible. And he's uh, diving all the time. Like, I mean, obviously, yeah, I know that. Any, like, think he bought... gigs coming up in Manchester, have you? No. Good. <laughs> but <laughs> maybe just, never again. Just, Portugal, maybe. Like, <laughs> no, mate, I just... I can't stand him. I really can't. And, and to be honest with you, it's, like, well-known, like, from to my mates and people who I work with and stuff. I hate him. Honestly? I can't stand him. Honestly? <laughs> I'm with you. Yeah. I I'm with, I, he I goes above Ramos. But, but I also, also, though, I don't know what it... Kind of know what it is. That's yeah. the that's that's it. It's but it, just it's horrible. That. That's it. It's, yeah. it's, it's it's a universal. Yeah, yeah. Let's do everything I see it from him. It's that. Yeah. Imagine I, that. Yeah. Imagine you saw him in real life. You know, you them. No, but I got to say, you know, things like I spoke to um, Darren Huckabee years ago and went, "Mate, you ruined one of my birthdays because he scored the goals that knocked out the FA Cup." And he went, "Good." <laughs> I had a great day. <laughs> yeah, one of my greatest moments. They're going to Anfield and knocking it, and I was like, "All right, yeah." Fair enough. Imagine going to Bruno Fernandes and going, I really hate you because... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, Everything about him, even, even like the way he looks, yeah, I mean, annoys yeah. me. What do you think he looks like? A rat. A yeah. rat, yeah. yeah. Like, a, like a chihuahua rat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I honestly, I completely agree. I, I, can't, I this, he goes, he goes one. If not, I'm voting, he goes one. For honestly, me. there's not. And there's only players. one player. I, no, there's one more in the Premier League currently. I eight maybe is equally, and I'll, I'll decide when I get there. But for me at the moment, he goes straight in. I there's can't just, there's him. just not many players that I can think of in my head that I think about and just go. I don't even want to see his face. Ian Fury. Honestly, there's, not, there's no, there's no one in the world that I, I think that of. I don't know what it is about him. Ian Fury is me when I'm just watching footy games that he's in, and it's not to do with us. <laughs> And I, no, no, exactly. That's what I, I could be watching the highlights of like Portugal against like Hungary and yeah. fucking Flanders. Yeah. So Liverpool, <laughs> Liverpool were linked with him. Because of him. Yeah. We were linked with him quite heavily for a while and we even played sport and in pre-season in, in New York. 3-1, wasn't it? Uh, we, we, drew, we drew that we drew. game because we shared the Western Union Cup. <laughs> um, the, um, but I, I do wonder whether that feeling would try... If we'd signed him, do you think you'd still have that I feeling? think we'd love him. I, I, I think we think... I think it's a bit suarez yeah, Man United fans love him because he's their prick. Yeah. but he's a he's a prick. It's like I, right, Evertonians hate Andy Robertson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's probably nothing specifically that he's done. It's just that if you're looking for someone who represents just your proper, hatred like, of a football team, shit out of him. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Okay, cool. So, so we for him, he's not that good. I oh. that's what annoys me as well. It's like people think he's fucking and he's amazing. Star, man. Absolute, he's not, co- that, he's absolute, not that good. Him and Patrick Bamford are the captains of the COVID team. Just absolute, you know, uh, the behind closed doors all stars. Yeah. There's Patrick Bamford they're playing and playing a Man City kid. Honestly, Patrick yeah. Bamford and him are the s- superstars of it because they were brilliant when no one was there. I hate him. Okay, um, is he above? Is he above both of them? Yeah, for I, me, I'd yeah, he's so, definitely yeah. above Cantona. For me, I don't think he's above Sergio Ramos. Well, but I, I'll I'll give it to the guests. I'll give it to Navas. If there's a tie, Navas gets the, the deciding vote. So yeah, there you go, one. I'm in for that. I can't, I can't see me pick anybody else, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> he does have a very punchable face, doesn't he? He does. Okay. Don't aim for the teeth, don't wait. You'll have to get a tennis. Well, no. see, here's someone for me <laughs> who falls into a very uh, similar category. Is, I think this is going to be the one who I hate as well, maybe more. Bernardo Silva. Can't bear him. Yeah. No, yeah, he's he's rounding at number one. I think he's... A, I, 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 he's not even in the same... Sings league. about our fans... Yeah, on a fucking plane, and it's got nothing to do with us. Didn't clap the guard of honor. Didn't clap the guard of honor. 
is good as well. Yeah. And that makes me hate him more. Plays for a team that I absolutely despise. Always seems to play well against us. Looks got that bit of that ratty look about him as well. Very punchable. Punchable face. Absolute <laughs> cockhead. Do you know what I seen him in in the airport picking up somebody and he was sat in his car and I remember walking past his car and then once go, Oh look, it's Bernardo Silva. I just looked at him and was like, I wanna smash your windows in. <laughs> <laughs> So that's Did you probably, have a bottle of coffee ahead of the uh, Champions League yeah. quarter final? <laughs> Where was you on the night of the Champions League yeah. final? Was there anybody at the Anfield Road? Oh yeah. <laughs> with with tinnies. Honestly, yeah. I didn't Remember think when I'd... he told us all to go and read the book? Yeah, he's a bubble. I, I... I don't, I, to be honest with you, I didn't think I would top but Bruno. I didn't remember that his I've name was in know, it. So. I have no feeling about Bruno Fernandes, but Bernardo Silva does my head. I think I might be Fernandes next to Ramos. Okay. And then yeah. go Bernardo one. Can you just hold that up as a see something because uh, yeah. it's somewhat obscure. Where are we? There you go. There yeah. you go. So yeah. Yeah, as it stands, Bernardo's top. We've got Ramos and Fernandez and then King Eric. Okie dokie. Right, and the uh, first and only ex Liverpool player on this list. Raheem Sterling. Mm. No, nah, see, I, I I don't dislike Raheem Sterling really. I, I used to I used to boo him because it made them play shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He, his head used to fall off at Anfield, but I don't. I didn't like the way he left. I understood why he wanted to leave. I didn't agree with the way he did it, but I've I don't hate. I've never really hated Raheem. We we have this now. conversation often, Chris, because we got to do some work with him, and he's a that's a really sound fella, and he was brilliant with us. He was a Liverpool player at the time, which obviously helped. Um, but when we're talking about this like rivalry of a footballer, there's not many players in my lifetime that we at Liverpool have booed so vociferously when they get every touch of the football the the the, the angry like vitriolic noise generated by Anfield whenever he would touch the ball that's why he's on the list yeah yeah but we did it for Suarez you just don't play them as often yeah and I would say that no one really hates Suarez mm-hmm. um I think it is the fact that we played and the way that he left is the big one for me I I think the problem that why it hurts me is he was fucking right. Yeah. Like that's the thing that annoys me about that. Yeah. And he did go on and win more trophies than he would have if he'd have stayed with us. Yeah. I think you think about the team we had at the time as well. Yeah. That's the thing. It's like there's no comparison really. So okay. he was right. And I, I'd have him down at five because I, I did yeah. meet him and that does make a difference to me. And he was and boss I do with think us. he was I do think at, at the time as well when he played for us and obviously the few years after when he went to City, I just think he's he was a quality footballer as well. I, I think do. I bo- I pay. And he can't does, deny it. He was, and he does boss stuff for the community and stuff as well. And yeah. I, I know about that because I've always sort of followed him online and stuff as well. So, yeah, um, I booed him because I booed him as well. Well, we way. booed him the first time, and, it, and he his head fell off. I'm like, fuck hell, yeah, let's do that again. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's a threat otherwise. Because he, he, he was mad because there was like you, there was no right situation to use him in a game. If you started them, then we, it would help whip the crowd up from minute one. And if you brought him on, if the if you'd managed to if City had managed to quieten us down, it just riled us straight back up again. Just thought it was interesting that again in terms of an individual player having that kind of reaction. I don't think any other player on that list gets that as hard or would would have that kind of reaction coming into. I, do you know what? This is probably controversial. I actually hate Coutinho more for the way that he he feigned injury with it all. At least Sterling was fucking up front <laughs> and did it. You know, like, and that's just my opinion. Like, but. You know, okay. Coutinho was an absolute shit house when he did it and started, oh, it's backache and all that crap. Okay. Um, another current player, England captain, England top goal scorer, Harry Kane. Oh, I don't hate Harry Kane. I don't, I have no feelings towards Harry Kane. No, I, wouldn't even have, I wouldn't even put him on the board. He's, he's just a good player who annoys you because yeah. he, he annoys because, like, the, obviously, the, there's, a bit of, there's the diving and there's the backing into players and there's the. I want to score at all costs, but I, I, I've got there's, no personal victory off Harry Kane. He is not universally hated mm. either. He is absolutely adored by everyone who's English that isn't Scouse. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. Because he's, he's there. Fans. Yeah. But they still love him in England. They do. Mm. They genuinely mm. do. They do. You just have to look at what Robbie and DR Sports and everything were doing and the way they were whipping up a frenzy when England were getting to, you know, not win trophies. Um, 
Got to get loved them. Got to get them World Cup views in. Um, I yeah, I, I have no like Tottenham Hotspur. I have no feelings towards him or that football club. I think he's a bell. I think he's a bell end. Yeah. And I but so I can see that if he played for a football club I cared about negatively, I would I would loathe him. So I get why, like again, Arsenal fans would hate him, and vice and they have that they have that the, the, the back and forth between Spurs. And I Arsenal. probably hate more that he gets decisions that other players don't, yeah. because of who he is, rather than actually him. Okay, does he even go on the board? If he played for Manchester United, would that change? Oh, that? I had hate him. <laughs> yeah, we might have this conversation in a year. Yeah, I'm with I, you. I just I don't think I'm with you. I don't. I'm, I'm ambivalent. I think he's dead. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okie dokie, let's go for uh, a former player, rival player and manager, Frank Lampard. Oh, oh God. I kind of don't feel sorry for him, you know. <laughs> that's the thing, that's the thing. Now, these, this past, these past two years have been hard for him, man. Did you hate Frank Lampard when he played for Chelsea? Yes. Oh, yes. Only, but oh, that, that, I despised hit. him because Gerard was better. It was like it was like someone in 1996 telling me the Blair were better than Oasis. You're just fucking wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean? I hated yeah. those people who liked Blair. Yeah. And I actually quite like Blair nowadays. Yeah. But back probably, then, probably you know right I mean? And they were yeah. probably better. I, I never hated him. I just thought he was dead good. He used to annoy me because he'd score all the time against us and he'd play well against us. But like, I felt the same about Drogba and I felt the same about like just that Mourinho team. I hated Drogba though because again, Drogba. same thing. You, you know, just he just died on the floor. It just used to wind me up. Sorry, it just used to wind me up when like your Chelsea fans are going to ah, now Lampard's better than Gerard. But, like, is he though? Yeah. He's not though. He's is just, he though? What would um? He's just a fucking shot merchant, is what they'd call him nowadays, or something mad like that, yeah. isn't it? He doesn't do anything, but range he was brilliant at it. Like, don't get me wrong, <laughs> yeah. and right place, right time. The system suited him and all that type of stuff. But he just wasn't as good a midfielder all rounder as Steven Gerrard. That's no why idea, I hate him. I think, yeah. Does he even go on the board? Yeah, he's got to go on the board because he managed Everton. Okay, that's great. Okay, where about though? five? F- I hate him more than Sterling, mate. Yeah, so I say four. Okay. Yeah, okay. I quite, really, I didn't. I had no animosity towards my time was. If anything, I was, he's just a really good back to the 90s. Drogba, Costa. There's a load of Chelsea Costa. players that I ate above. Yeah, I hope he's on this board because I've put him on above Bernardo <laughs> Silva. The first on the board who do, did have a chant from the cop, Duncan Ferguson. Oh, yeah. In for a week and out for a month. In for a week and out for a month. In for a week and out for a month. Big Duncan is a tampon. Absolutely. I like him now. <laughs> I love that, me, you know. I like him now. That's the difference. Because he's because he's vegan and he's a fast green man. I like the video when he told the lad to go and do his own work. Yeah, but can he be having that? He seems like a good guy. We, he, he's a, he is a nice guy. Isn't he's he? been here because I've met him here. He's a but nice as a player, guy. as a player, I I he was the one I hated the most because in the he, 90s. he epitomised Everton yeah. and what they stood for. Yeah, because he was shit. No, no. <laughs> but he was crap but because, they because we had him. so my best yeah. mates were Evertonians and and they, they adored it. he was it he was the idol yeah. every Evertonian in the nineties it was Duncan Ferguson so it was Fowler for us and it was Ferguson and Robbie Fowler was this like generationally gifted god of a footballer and Duncan Ferguson was just this violent brute and the, the fact that he he got, he got out of prison and, and all this kind of stuff he punched people on the pitch that that's what they liked about him and I always I just thought that was so shit and I had oh, okay. it yeah and the fact is they 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 had a really good record against us as well so we was playing in Merseyside derbies and winning Merseyside derbies as well which I found absolutely abhorrent um, so Ferguson is up from a personal sense I have more hatred to him as a footballer than I have for a lot of the a lot of them so I hate him more than as a player I hate him more than Bruno Fernandes I hate him more than Bernardo Silva I hate him more than Eric Cantona more than Lampard yeah I, I'm with you on that, to be honest with you. But like, post his career and stuff, no, I, I'm quite cool with him. Like, but as a player, I, I have him right up there. I just thought he was crap, and I used to make me laugh at it. And fans thought he was good. That was my thing. With That's him. yeah. That that was that was a very hindsighty thing because we've well, had the time. He never scored. Yeah, but you. Yeah, but the... I, I remember. I remember it well because everyone loved him. He was like the main fella around there. Yeah. Um, but he, you, you're right. What he what he was, he was the epitome like dogs of war. We're gonna beat you up, kind of thing. But he wasn't very good. I, I, I didn't hate him at all. It, it, I'll be honest. I don't have any like hatred towards Duncan Ferguson. I think he's. Put him in the, if, we're, if we're fives and you're like twos and ones, so you go three as a compromise. Oh. Yeah, he's got to go above Lampard. Okay. Okay. Let's stick with the Everton theme then. Let's go a little bit uh, newer than Fergie uh, Ferguson, but not as new as some of the other ones. Uh, Tim Kale. 
Oh, yeah. Blurt. Yeah, hated him. And the stupid punch in the flag shit. Old Aya. Grow up, Tim. (laughs) (laughs) I'd put him above Ferguson. He did do my head in. Um, Because, again, like... Why, why, why wasn't no marking him on corners, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> why, why was he always heading the ball into our goal all the time? Every time I've seen him, he was just heading the ball into our net. That used to, that used to wind me up. Don't think he's got four goals against us forever. He did. What, Kyle? I'll get to that. Probably less. A few headers, maybe. Yeah, I didn't like Tim Kyle. I thought he was a bit gnarly as well. He was just crap. I don't think yeah. he, I, I think he was he's just like a, a last minute goal merchant. Like, yeah. <laughs> just, um, he, he was, was, he's he like, was just a knock, off, us. a knock off Lampard. Yeah, that's what he was. Yeah, five goals Tim Cale scored against us. Yeah. Three at Anfield. That's right. it. I'd he's, put he, him alongside Ferguson. Okay. <laughs> right, let's stick with the Blues. Uh, we're going to move on <laughs> to. I I would never even consider this, but this was this was when we asked the club legends. This was a, a quite a common one. Uh, Richarlison yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. How, how did you think of him Pigeon. I just, he's an arsehole him. he goes above those two other Evertonians for me are you messing 100% who, is he's, who the fuck is Richarlison that's the point no. that's why I hate him because he acts like he's not shit ok if you no. ask Richarlison how boss he is he'd be like yeah I'm that boss, pigeon me. celebration that done my head in that yeah I yeah. Don't know. yeah, I mean maybe this again maybe this is like a modern, and a modern it's thing. injuring players and stuff as well isn't it like that's the thing I don't like players who are in it just to Boot people's legs off. Like I, I like it. Obviously, if it's mm-hmm. if it's a good tackle, I'm like, yeah, sweet. But if they're just going in for somebody and just kicking out, I'm like, I, I dislike Richardson more than I dislike Uncle Ferguson. Okay. Personally. Wow. Yeah. I, I personally, I think that's a po- I think that's the most popular opinion. Yeah. I think that's right. I, I'm I'd put him alongside one. Fernandez in the in the two range. Yeah, I'm with you there. This year's funny because he hasn't done anything, but. I need to caveat that with we're about to play them, so sh- shut your mouth. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, he, scored, okay. he scored a few against us, by the way. Rich Allison? Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd choose not to. I mean, he defo played in that COVID behind closed doors he game, didn't he, when they beat us? But literally, he's, he's, do you think yeah, he's, do you think no. you really think he's on level with Bruno, though? Can I ask you, though? <laughs> okay, no. He's <laughs> hating for Bruno, <laughs> there's no uh, bounds. Uh, well, uh, we uh, should uh, create some. Uh, right, right, honestly, right, this should let's be like, move, I'll move Cantona if down. a separate show of Navos on Bruno Fernandez. I could speak for hours. <laughs> I've moved Eric hours. down and I put the three Evertonians. Well, hold it, your horses in a middle because tier. there's one more Evertonian to throw into the mix. Is it Mark Hughes? It is not Mark Hughes. Oh, it's a shame. I hate it Mark is Hughes. Jordan. See, Pickford. I don't like him at all. Pickford? Not, yeah. I, I where, dislike, do you, where are you thinking? Not on level of, of Bruno, but I'd say, like, if this is the thing, a two and a half. Nope. <laughs> He's... It's very much not a thing. You can see, because there's no space between the two and <laughs> <laughs> he's, 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 an, he's in the Richarlison mould of thinks he's better than he is. I think he, I hate him more than Richarlison. So do I, yeah. And the Van Dijk injury thing as well, obviously, yeah. plays into it. And also... Who was it Richarlison injury? Was it Thiago? Thiago, yeah. He's also dead weird. Like he's a weird fella. Like he's all, he's like twitchy and like f- talks to himself and is odd. Well, that's fine. We all do that, but it's it's. it's, 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 it's he's just it. described me. <laughs> yeah. Actually, he's a bit o- over the top as well. Yeah, it's an act. Like, he's I, very it's an like, act. Like, oh, I've, uh, I've saved the ball. Then, oh, look at me! I'm gonna roll my that's shoulders. The thing, and he catches the ball, and then he's like throws out. And he's like, "Yeah, I'm the best keeper in the world." Do you know what I mean? It's like, mate, you've just caught a ball. Like, yeah. <laughs> you're a goalkeeper. Yeah. I, uh, Allison, do. Allison laying down. Oh, yeah. is up there with the great derby moments yeah. oh that was fantastic yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. He, he, alongside Fernandez and two I, I don't I did, I mean, actually to be fair mine's, mine's more of a personal one for Fernandez so I mean it's whatever <laughs> you want to well I mean we could just have a row of Evertonians in the middle okay okay we've got two more former United players to round it off is it Mark Hughes first one is not Mark Hughes <sighs> I hate Mark Hughes Diego Forlan I uh, did hate him but that was because he scored against us. Like there was not, there was nothing character-wise about Diego Forlan that made it. It was just did well against Liverpool. And if that's a category, there's a billion players. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody played for United between yeah. like 1995 and 2000. John Walters, yeah. get him in there. Get the, yeah. Michael Antonio, get, get them all in there. Every Walters. reserve goalkeeper that ever played the game. <laughs> Honestly, okay. if, it, if, it, if that's the category, I do well against Liverpool. Yeah, we're in, we're in trouble there. Now I okay. don't think he's. Okay, down the bottom. before we go into the fall on a little bit more, right? If we take your overriding sort of categories again, 
Can you just remind me of the them? So, these were considerations more yeah, than considerations. More than, like, memorable moments. Yeah, you got them. So he scored. Yeah, scoring at Anfield. Megan Jersey do that. Knock us out the Europa League as well. Yeah, knock us out the Europa League for that Latico. Um, chants or songs. So did we have a have a chance? So like. Like for yeah. example, like Raheem Sterling, your agent a knob. I know that was technically about his agent, but you know. Um Man United, the, Man United had a song about him scoring on field. Yeah. Whether these are players that are just hated in general and by football or are they, or do we specifically hate them? Um is the thing. So if it's if it's a Liverpool specific thing, they go higher up rather than just being a universally hated footballer. Okay, right. Okay, well that's interesting now because so, every one of those Everton lads needs to go higher up. That's the thing. I mean, because nobody me, else cares about them. I don't even think it's a Liverpool thing, the Fernandez thing for me. Then, so I think you should move down as well. No, but but he's universal. He is universal. But that's the but that's, that's the point. Though. Is that does it, do we hate him more than yeah. City fans no. or or Arsenal fans or I think we might. Blackburn Rovers fans? Does he, is he just so punchable that everyone hates him? Everyone hates him. Ah, right. Then this is why Bernardo Silva is going to win. Then I don't think yeah. everyone hates. I think we hate Bernardo Silva. I don't think everyone does. So you might be right. I, I, I think everyone dislikes Fernandez. Yeah, I so think we should move so him down. So Fernandez moves down. Okay. And then who goes up then? All the Everton lads. Okay. Because they get extra points. Yeah. For being. Just for being. Yeah. Well, yeah. they can't all fit. Because, so the extra point also comes from them being shit. And yet we still hate them. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I like it. Final one. Is he going in? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Four on. Leave him off. Put him on the bottom. Yeah. Even Harry Kane. Hold on. He's shit. Okay. Final one, left the biggie for the end. Mark Hughes. It is Mr. Gary Neville. Oh, oh. I like him as a pundit because he gets well, tired by Carragher. I was about to say, <laughs> we have to detach Gary Neville, both the pundit and the sometimes employer of me on the overlap. Um, <laughs> <laughs> think about how much we detested this man as a Manchester United footballer for a moment because I don't think there's many United players in that team that I disliked more than it, him. It was because he was united through and through. Yes. And because he had a terrible moustache. Yes. I mean, we made, think, we, I think there's not enough characters in footy anymore. So the early days of Redmen, there was loads to take the piss out of. We used to do like John Terry sketches, and, and which were nowhere near as bad as they were, because he got, got well worse, by the way, before we did that. Frank Lampard sketches, we did Gary Neville sketches, we did all this kind of stuff because there were characters there that you could take, with, with characteristics you could take the piss out of. And there's not enough of that in the current like Manchester United team, like, you know, like Donny Van Der Beek, like who gives a shit, you know what I mean? Like, but him, he was a mank. He hated us as much as we hated him, and as well, it forever annoys me that Rob Jones was a miles better right back than him, and he had so many injury problems that he never got to fulfil it. And I don't think Gary Neville's half the thing if Rob Jones stays fit. So. Yeah. Do you not think he was the better of the Nevilles? Do you not think he's universally hated though? No, no, no. I don't think anyone. Hates I just him. think the City fans hate him. Well, yeah, but that, that equally because that they've got that from the same sort of thing. It's a, yeah. it's a, the local rivalry thing applies to them. We actively sang a song about him and his family. That was there. You go. One yeah. of the most yeah. the it, it, I, abhorrent, funny yeah. chant. Yeah. Uh, if if the if the overriding category was hated more by us than everyone else, he might be up there because he could have got lynched a few times, like. I remember but he I, gave as good as he got, yeah. and he did it in 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 matches as well. Like so, you when, when they play, scored, it was, that, it was yeah. a good rivalry, proper hatred both ways. But yeah, that like you know, like kissing the badge in front of the Liverpool fans and all that kind of stuff. Again, you put put the shoe on. I'm old enough and mature enough now to put the shoe on the other foot and go. I'd love to see like Gerard kissing the camera. You know what I mean? Those yeah. kind of the, those are the kind of moments I love that. No, I love he, the shine. But he's there. He he ticks all the boxes for me. He's he played for our most hated rival team. He had moments where he actively went out of his way to wind Liverpool fans up. He had a song that we sang for 10 years about him every single time we played. And every time we'd go to town and get pissed that we'd sing Gary Neville songs because he just would, because that's the cat. Phil Neville started being the brunt of it. We hated Phil Neville. Just because he was related to Gary Neville. Phil, Phil, absolute strays. Like you're a Neville, we hate you. I yeah. think those last ten of the netball games, like... booing his sister. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like Phil goes to school and sits in the middle of the corner. Everyone's bullying him because of his bullying. He's like... <laughs> but I genuinely think Phil hates Phil for the same reason. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. Poor Phil. I think he might be number one. Okay. Yeah. So I where's that, that put? Does who gets moved. knocked down? Is there anyone right? Let's let's re let's do our final assessment. So we need one in number one. 
Oh, Gary Neville is is Gary yeah. Neville the most can I make a, can I make a case for it being Bernardo Silva? You can. He's a prick, dude. right? And all I'll say is the difference between Liverpool when Gary Neville was there and Liverpool with Bernardo Silva and Man City is there wasn't really a rivalry with Gary Neville's Manchester United in the in terms of a footballing rivalry. They were just fucking miles better than us. I think and there's a respect. That hurts. I think there's respect for Neville as well. In that, yeah, there was. We respected that he was unequivocally mank. And we got why he hated us. That's, I think that's, with the gift of hindsight, I don't think anyone respected or liked Gary No, 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 I hated him for it. Absolutely. But there was a reason to hate him. We shouldn't hate Bernardo Silva. Yeah. We should hate a Man United captain born in Manchester who hates Liverpool. It'd be weird if we didn't. We, <laughs> the, we, there's no reason for us to hate a little midget Portuguese fella running around for a, a club that no one gives a fuck about in terms of like, hatred. And yet here we are. Yeah. Gary <laughs> yeah. yeah. Neville yeah. didn't sing about our fans getting fucking injured, did he? Yeah. Uh, yeah I mean, you could, are we going to put the whole Man City squad on for that reason? Ring leader. <laughs> Ring leader. Okay, yeah. Because Raheem Sterling might need to go up there then as well, if that's the case. Yeah. I'll be honest, I don't feel, in my opinion, more hatred for Gary Neville than I do Bernardo Silva. So I think Bernardo Silva should stay up there. And also, it, think... it's, it has waned a little touch with him being a good pundit, which is annoying. Yeah. I think I'd and being a socialist as well. well. We've got some comments here, Rachel. And fighting the government Rachel, and everything else. Yeah, but, he also but, sat next to Keir Starmer when he said being um, being a Tory, and he, and he compared it to like being a being a Liverpool fan. And uh, also, and also, I like him as a pundit, but his blind spot of criticising Manchester United does still infuriate me. It really that mm. does the warm me up. But it's most hated rival players, not about. If not it's, about I think I post. think. At There's the no t- player on this list that I have actively yeah. poured, with the exception of actually Raheem Stale and poured more more booze and vitriol upon in their time playing against Liverpool than Gary Neville. Okay, I'll, I'll vote Neville. I've literally punched the balloon with his face on. Yes. Yeah. And dived off the wall to break, to smash that balloon. If we move, yeah. If, if... so yeah, I think I think to be fair, I probably do hate Gary Neville more than the others. Now, but... does that push everyone down? Yeah, it pushes the Everton lads down. So Sergio Ramos that. and Bernardo Silva in two. Yeah. I think we're going to have to put Bruno in two as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, and Everton tier at three. Lampard, Cantona at four, and then the others. Okay. Right. I think I'm, I'm, can Everton go down again? Uh, well, the, the, <laughs> and, and maybe again. Well, they're currently losing. Um, so Are yeah, they? yeah, yeah, yeah. What score? Don't worry about it. The, no, um, right, about let's. It. Um, <laughs> Let's assess the list then, please, Steve, if you yeah, don't mind. So in, fit, I'm, I'm, in fifth. We've got four Alan and Kane. Fourth, we've got a tier of Cantona, Lampard and Sterling. A three, a, a tier of, of Blue Shite. We've got Cahill, Ferguson, Richardson and, and Pickford. Two, we've got Ramos, Silva and Fernandez, And then number one is um, Ame Gaz. Gary Neville, indeed. Gaza. There you go. Any honourable mentions? Let us know. In the comments, would you have put anyone in any particular order? Is there anyone on there that you just share a personal, a personal passionate feeling towards, like Navos and Bruno Fernandez? <laughs> um, what a one-man vendetta well, against Chris and Mark Hughes. Yeah, I Chris hate and Mark, Mark Hughes. Hughes. Yeah, I hate <laughs> Mark Hughes as well. Yeah, Manchester United, Everton, City, like Chelsea. I oh. mean, uh, the the. Uh, Ugh. Yeah, that's like, a, them. that's like a full house of teams playing for yeah. the worst of the teams. Okay, cool. Um, right, sounds cool. Uh, do drop a like on this if you've enjoyed it. 